Hello friends and welcome to uh, today's video. So friends, I was just tinkering with the new ControlNet uh, version 1.1 models. And this particular new model was really looking interesting because I had no idea what it does. And I started to experiment and I found out that this can be used to transfer style from one picture to another. So as you can see, um, uh, this image in uh, open in Photoshop right in front of me, uh, the left image here was the input image and the right image here was the output image uh, with a particular uh, prompt. Then I changed the image. I changed the input image from here to this goofy looking one of mine and I uh, kept the prompt same and it gave me this. So notice how between these two pictures and between these two pictures, there seems to be a bit of similarity. This image was created in this style and you can almost argue that this image was created in this style. It seems to have the color gamut. It seems to have taken the color information from here. Similarly, this seems to have taken the color information from here. So uh, the new 1.1 version models are really promising and I'll do a bit more in the video on all of those models. But right now I thought that I would want to share my discovery with you guys. So I'm going to open the automatic 11. So I'm going to show you uh, first of all how you can or how you should upgrade. Uh, you should, uh, if you want to upgrade, uh, my one automatically upgrades my automatic uh, 11, 11 installation automatically updates because of the installer that I use. All right. Um, but if you want to update your one, then you have to go to um, you have to go to your uh, extensions uh, tab and uh, over here you have to check for updates. Since my one is updated, uh, I, will, I will not do that or it's unnecessary. But when you check for updates, you will find that an update is here. All right, there's something will be written here. And then you have to update from there. And then uh, you have to apply and restart the UI. And your uh, control net will be updated with the new 1.1 version. Now you have to remember that just updating it is not enough. You will have to. Uh, update uh, the files, you'll have to update the model files. For model files, you have to go to this link and you'll find the latest version 1.1 uh, models. So even if you have Canny, for example, you probably already have Canny from version 1, you should still update the new uh, Canny uh, PTH file, which is the latest model. And of course, if you have updated it, you don't need to download the YAMLs anymore. They are probably already downloaded for you because I found that my installation already had these YAMLs, but Still, if you check, you should check uh, and if you see, if you see that your, uh, you know, YAML files are not updated or you do not have this, then you should download it and it should automatically uh, work for you. I'll show you the installation uh, location. Now, where will you place these downloaded files? The downloaded files, well, your installation location, my installation location is not the same, but we probably both have this table diffusion web UI folder, so you need to navigate to there. And then enter this, and then you will find extensions, and then you will find uh, this one SD Web UI Control Net, and you will find this model folders, and this is where you have to download and place your YAML files and your PTH files and you know whatever files that is required to run the new models. Now, what is that particular V11 model that actually creates this kind of style transfer? Well, it's called the Shuffle processor or the Shuffle model. Okay, what shuffle does is very interesting. For example, I already have this image loaded. So I'm just going to uh, preview the annotated result and I'll show you what it does. So what it does is it sort of takes this picture or whatever picture you put in and just creates this kind of a noodle soup of image. And uh, it doesn't look like anything. It looks very weird. All right. And still from there or somehow the model actually uses this picture and creates uh, or takes the style from here and puts that in the image. So just to give you a demonstration, I'm going to change this image and I'm going to keep my, uh, you know, uh, my prompt same and let's see what do I get. So I'm just going to change this. I'm going to um, upload another image. So I'm just going to upload this image. It's an image in a church where a couple is getting married. So it has a certain, you know, color gamut or certain colors uh, as you can see. And now we're going to create uh, uh, basically going to generate and let's see what we get. So uh, friends, so this is the image that it created. It's a space pirate, um, not the best looking image, but I'll take it. And as you can see, it uh, it actually used this uh, 
this uh, image that was created using uh, control net it's basically a very jumbled up kind of soupy goofy image of or version of the image that I inputted and it took color information and some other information and I used it to create this image so just to give you an idea I have the image right here so as you can see it took colors and certain stylistic information from here and generated this image all right it generated a space pirate uh, taking you know some colored themes and some you know ambience from here so let's do another one let's do one more image and let's see how it comes out so friends so this time i use this picture as you can see it's very colorful very kind of bright sunburst sort of neon like image and using this as my control net um, shuffle image I get this image so as you can see it definitely took a lot of inspiration from this image and if you look at the image which was which acted as the source as you can see so it used all of these colors and a bit of this style to create this image so this is a very interesting way I don't know if it was intended to be used like this but this is a very interesting way of sort of you know transferring style from one kind of image to another so sometimes you might like something that you see somewhere you know you might perhaps like and want to create a completely different image but you want to keep that kind of color and that constancy you can actually use this technique finally i'm going to show you probably the best use of this technique and that is by using a multi-instance control model so i have this picture i'm just going to uh, blow it up for you so i have this image and i want to keep the image or keep the content of this image and i want to create a different color theme for it to be specific i want to use the color theme of this image which i just used in the previous example so i want to combine the image uh, from this one i want to have this girl sitting on a wolf but i want to make it this kind of color this is actually possible by using uh, this method so what i have done is in my control net zero model i have used this image and i have used the shuffle so that will uh, give me or that gives me this kind of image so i can source the color from it and my control net model one i have used this image with the canny processor the canny model and combined it gives me this image so it takes the image it takes sort of the uh, original image and it converts it into a sort of a stylistic uh, color theme of another image so i think this is a very good way or a very interesting way of using the new control net version 1.1 shuffle model so guys let me know what you think about this technique and and share with me your creative outputs if you face any issues or problems please feel free to knock me i'm available in facebook all the time i'm going to give you my facebook group uh, link in the description below and also my facebook profile link in the description below so that you can keep in touch with me and request me or ask me what kind of videos or tutorials that you want to see in the future so see you again in the next video till then goodbye